She's gone. She's really gone. My dreams. My ambitions. My one and only. No. No. Your will and mine are now as one. Both sides of time are revealed to you, and you alone. You know that I am the beginning. What shall you do? If you prefer it so, you shall be added to the ranks of the dead. She's probably fine. Let's just get her to Manuela, okay? But... But what if she never wakes up again? Mary... <sighs> Claude, she's going to be alright. Pull yourself together. I know, I know. No look for a future leader, I bet you'll say. what they did to her father. How dare they? They make me so, so mad. I know, but at least the professor is safe now, Lysithia. I said some awful things to her before this. Thank the goddess I still have the chance to apologize. Hey, Leone. How about we cook something delicious for her? I know that pastry you made before was really tasty. I bet that would really make her feel better. Hey. That's a great idea, Raphael. I'll help. Give us the shopping list. We'll get them for you at the market. Thanks, Ignatz. Hmm. Looks like all we have left is eggs, milk, and butter. Perfect! I know just the place to get all three! How's the dough over there, Lysithia? Almost ready to go? Almost! Jeez, this flower is getting everywhere! W would the professor like these flowers? They're the ones the class grown in the greenhouse. Of course! Any maiden would enjoy these delicate flowers. Is the ribbon almost ready, Hilda? <coughs> Wait, why pink? Didn't we pick purple? More like you picked purple, Lorenz. I think the professor would much prefer pink. She wears it during class a lot, after all. Uh, they won't allow us to crowd the infirmary. So please give this to her for us, Claude. Everyone pitched in to make this. They don't care if she'd like it. Or if she eat it at all. They just want her to know that they appreciate her. With no expectations. With no agenda. Oh! Claude! She's awake. You could see her now. Uh, thanks, uh, Professor. I'll be in the next room if you need me. Stay back! He's strong! What? Claude, what are you doing uh, uh, nothing. nothing. Just, Just a little, little stomach, stomach poison. poison. That's, That's all. all. <sighs> Teach, you've always had my back. And yet, I pushed you to where I needed you to be. Towards my goals and ambitions. But even if they are aligned, is it fair that you bear the cost of my dream? Am I that selfish? Hey, 
Hey, Teach! Hope you've got an appetite. Just look what your fonts have cooked up for you. They're nothing too fancy, but they are pretty tasty. I'm sure you'll... agree? <laughs> T teach You... okay? Oh, why wouldn't I be? I'm so happy to have such kind and thoughtful students. You were all I could think about while I was trapped in the darkness. Like a beacon leading me back home. Teach, you didn't have to choose me, us, when you arrived here. But we're so glad that you did. Our lives would be so much poorer without you in it. While I'd love to be selfish and hog your attention right now, the Golden Deer can't wait to see you again. <laughs> My dream? I'll achieve, I'll achieve that eventually. eventually. Even if it takes a lifetime. But that, that smile, smile, the one that inspires our hearts, priceless. My heart is like white snow that freezes both our minds. I yearn to let this moment pass me by. But still I am stuck in place amongst my thoughts. Well. How can we lock the door lightly and never set love free? Oh, you and I couldn't be. Turn back the clock until it stops. Back to that time when you and I were inseparable. Or so it seemed, the lies stood there from beginnings Despite the lies, it was the time Prematurely, we broke our ties I couldn't say goodbye 